Hello students. Hope you all are doing well. Today's topic of discussion is photosynthesis. So let us start the discussion with the definition of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. It is the process of preparing organic food that is carbohydrate by combining carbon dioxide and water using solar energy by chlorophyll pigment. The sugar that is glucose produced in photosynthesis is stored in the form of starch in the plants and it is the source of reserved internal energy. Now let us go through the requirements that a green plant must have to perform photosynthesis. First of all, it is sunlight. Sun is the natural source of light for photosynthesis. So this suggests that photosynthesis is done by the green plants to prepare their food as they are autotrophic in nature. And hence, sun energy is the primary source of energy to begin the process of photosynthesis. Second, photosynthetic pigments. These are chlorophyll which are responsible for absorbing light energy. Photosynthetic pigments are present in all green parts of the plant. Third, carbon dioxide. All the plants need carbon dioxide to form carbohydrates. The, the carbon dioxide is obtained by the plants from the atmospheric air. In the terrestrial plants, the carbon dioxide enters into the cell of leaves through tiny pores called stomata, which always remain present on the surface of leaves. Fourth, water. Water is always needed by the plants for its use during photosynthesis. It is absorbed by the roots of the plant from the soil through the process of osmosis. Also, some minerals like salts, nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, magnesium required by the plants are also transported to different parts of the plant along with the water. Now, here you can see the overall equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 plus 12 H2 in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll, it is converted into C6H12O6 that is glucose and water plus oxygen. Now let us see the stepwise events of the photosynthesis that occur in the green plants. So the first step is absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. In green plants chlorophyll A and B pigments help to absorb light. So please listen here carefully. Only red and blue light of radiations light are absorbed by chlorophyll and green and yellow being reflected back. That is why the color of leaf occurs to be green for us. Second is conversion of light energy into chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. So the water that is being absorbed by the roots is now here splitted into hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule. Third step is the hydrogen that is being reduced through the splitting of water here reduces the carbon dioxide and synthesizes glucose that is reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. So all these events can be characterized into two main phases that is light phase and dark phase. So this is the photosynthetic reaction and what is dark reaction over here is it is simply the conversion of carbon molecules into long chains of carbohydrates and what is light reaction it is the splitting of water molecule 
and release of oxygen gas but in the presence of sunlight. So basically photosynthesis is a mixture of light and dark reaction. Let us now see the differences between light and dark reaction. So in light reaction light is being required but in dark reaction it is not required. Second is light reaction takes place in the part of chloroplast that is grana. Grana is the matrix present inside the thylakoid. But dark reaction takes place in the stroma region of chloroplast. Stroma is the matrix present in the chloroplast. Next, ATP and NADPH2 are produced by the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. And these ATP and NADPH molecules are being used in dark reaction for the fixation of CO2 into carbohydrates. Fourth one is, in light reaction, no sugar is being formed, but in dark reaction, sugar is being formed in the form of glucose. Fifth one, in the light reaction, the oxygen is being released as the product, but in dark reaction, no oxygen is being released. Now, let me make it more easy to understand the photosynthetic process through some primitive animations. So first of all, sun comes out, then we have a tree which has chlorophyll pigment, then the sun rays falls on the leaf and stomata gets opened up. Now the water gets incorporated through xylem from roots and CO2 from stomatal pores. And the photosynthesis occurs. Now, let us see this through the reaction over here. CO2 comes in from atmosphere, water from roots and with the help of chlorophyll, sunlight is trapped in the plant. And look at here. Finally, glucose is being synthesized with the release of water in the form of water vapors and oxygen in the form of gas. Now let us move forward and see stomata. Stomata, these are tiny pores or microscopic apertures guarded by two kidney shaped or say bean shaped guard cells over here. Guard cells, these are kidney shaped cells which cover single stoma, they contain chloroplast also. The function of guard cells here to regulate the opening and closing of the stoma and also perform photosynthesis. Now, in the middle of the guard, these guard cells, this region is said to be the stomatal pore. And when this stomatal pore is slightly opened, then the stomatal, then the, the stomata is to be said as opened form. And when the stomatal pore is not been opened, then this, this stomata is said to be closed stomatal pore. Here in the guard cells, these pink structures over here are the nucleus, and these green shaped beans are chloroplast where the light reaction occurs and this and this the uh, light green part in the guard cell is called as the stroma region where the dark reaction takes place and in this chloroplast region the thylakoid cells are present where the light reaction occurs now moving towards the next phase here the water enters from these epidermal cells into the guard cells and splitting of water occurs inside the chloroplast region. The water splits into hydrogen and oxygen with the help of light energy of the sun 
and that the oxygen is being liberated out from the stomata. Now if you remember we have discussed about the light reaction and dark reaction. So over here this phase till now that the splitting of water into oxygen and release of oxygen this process is the light reaction of the photosynthesis. Now the atmospheric carbon dioxide incorporated into the cells and it is been synthesized into uh, glucose molecules and after that water vapors are released. Now this sums up the dark reaction. So it is the end of photosynthesis process. So I think you might be quite able to understand the process of photosynthesis easily. Now let us move towards the some functions of stomata. First of all, stomata, the massive amount of gases exchange takes place in the leaves through stomata. Exchange of gases occurs across the surface of stem, roots and leaves. Because, uh, first of all, stomata helps in the movement of or uh, say exchange of gases. That is, uh, CO2 is being incorporated into the plant and O2 is being exhaled out of the plant. So, stomata helps in the exchange of gases. And here it is written that surface, uh, it is been done from the surface of stem and roots and leaves because every green part of the plant must have possesses the chlorophyll pigment and where chlorophyll pigment is present the chloroplast is also present and where the chloroplast is present it justifies that stomata is also present over there. So let us move on the second point. Transpiration takes place through the stomata. Large amount of water is lost in the form of water vapors through stomata it is known as transpiration. So uh, in previous slides you have seen that the, the water reaches through the uh, xylem and ends up into the gar cells and where the splitting of water occurs and the water splits into hydrogen and oxygen and where CO2 splits into uh, glucose. So through all this process uh, while the uh, stomata is open the water evaporates from the surface of leaf. So this evaporation of water leads to a uh, term called as transpiration. So transpiration is basically the evaporation of water from the surface of leaf during the course of photosynthesis. So this is all for the photosynthesis process. Good luck. Thank you.